Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the video. Today we look at Paolo Futre, perfect high-low work rates, four-star skills with a three-star weak foot. Now, you can use him in a wide range of positions. Now, personally, I'm going to tell you guys from my experience after using him for 10 games, this card is a very, very good winger. Oh, you could use him as a cam. He's not a striker. With that weak foot, it definitely lets him down. Because his finishing isn't the best. You have to be very careful because his right foot is not good at all. Honestly, it's just so inconsistent. Sometimes I passed him the ball and literally just skied it or just missed. And then after that, what happened was after the amount of opportunities I gave him in the box and he wasn't finishing, I just thought to myself, you know what, this guy's not a striker, but what he is... He is an incredible winger. He's lightning quick. He's blistering. He's absolutely flies. On top of that, he's got the perfect high-low work rate. He's always waiting for the ball. He's got really, really nice dribbling. I love his body type. This is a fantastic playmaker. And out, outside, on the left or on the right, he'll do such a good job for you. And he's just so much more involved. He's participating in the game much, much more. One of the big issues I had with him in the striker position, I couldn't utilize his pace or his amazing dribbling. His agility and balance is exceptional as well. All of them things really play a vital role as a winger. So that's where you see the best of this card in the wing, or on the wing, should I say. So yeah, personally speaking, if you're interested in this card, is he worth it? Absolutely, he's so worth it. What he's not good at is he's not very good at finishing. Now, if you shoot it on his left foot, he's his left foot's very, very good. I do want to say this, though. I do wish this guy had a Traveller or a Finesse, anything like that, just so it gives him an option to score from outside of the box because his shot from outside of the box, I shot many times, many times I took, sh I shot outside of the box and tried to take my opportunities when I could. He's just, his shooting wasn't very good. It just wasn't very good. So that's where this card is let down. Didn't feel like he's the best finisher, but what he's got insane, he's got insane dribbling. His ball control is sensational and he plays the winger role really, really well. Then he cuts in and then he can finish. I never in I never once said his he's got bad finishing. I just said he's got a weak foot that makes him like I said, listen, at the end of the day, I know we're in the start of FIFA, but listen, if you climb up the division, you see people with insane teams. You do not want your striker to have a three-star weak foot. You just don't. It's just not something you need. But on the wing, it doesn't really matter if you've got a two-star, one-star, three-star weak foot. What matters on the wing is pace, agility and balance, dribbling, and a minimum of four-star skills. And that's what this card absolutely provides. He does his job really well. Like I said, don't recommend him, don't recommend anybody using him in ST. But Cam or left or right or Cam or Lam, uh, um, Lam or Ram, absolutely. So you can see here, he has got a good shot. But you've got to make sure you shoot with his left, 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 left. Don't forget, don't forget. And then he's got really good dribbling, which I absolutely love. I love this card, really is. It, you know, I remember this guy from FIFA 14 and I had him in FIFA 14. He was one of them cheap icons in that game and he was ridiculously good. I really like this card. I'm more than happy to give him an 8.8 .8 out of 10. Thank you very much for watching. Peace.